Hey, this is Joshua with Cultural Catholic. Welcome to uh, our first Wednesday special. Uh, today's special is uh, unique in that I've been away for a while and a lot of things have come up, but there's one really big one that I kind of want to talk about that doesn't seem to be getting a lot of coverage. Um, so today's special uh, and the other video that will be published today, it's going to be the typical video I'm going to see I uh, find a few stories that I find interesting I'm actually pre-recording this uh, and uh, it'll be a typical one you'll have little sources appear um, but for the special there'll just be links down in the description below um, and and yeah um, and today's special is going to be on Zimbabwe uh, now Zimbabwe is a relatively new country uh, by relatively, I mean it technically existed before 1983 in the form of Rhodesia. Um, but there was a rebellion uh, and the white minority, which was the government, kind of like South Africa was, um, was overthrown. And uh, black African-led uh, uh, government kind of sprung up in its place. And I really do mean kind of sprung up. Um, the, the, the problem with colonialism and then uh, apartheid governments in Africa is that it didn't really prepare uh, the people who ended up doing the governing to govern. Um, now, there are examples of colonial uh, entities uh, becoming fairly stable governments. Uh, for all of its faults, Kenya is fairly stable, same as Nigeria. Um, and a few North African countries like uh, Tunisia and Algeria, they're, again, they're fairly stable, but they do have their issues. Uh, but there haven't been, like, uh, a constant string of massive civil wars or repressive governments. Or if there have been, they're largely being replaced. But again, it's... It, it, with uh, with uh, Zimbabwe, it was kind of kind of like um, the 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 British Con the Belgian Congo. It wasn't the the population wasn't really given any educational opportunities. Um, uh, granted, Mugabe was a was was a, was a teacher before me before he came became president of Zimbabwe, but. Um, there was no formal education to kind of to train people to become effective govern, uh, government officials and leaders. Um, and it's it's difficult to create a government out of people who are used to fighting. Um, it, soldiers don't always make the best politicians or uh, the most democratic leaders and uh, Robert Mugabe has been had been president of Zimbabwe effectively since 1983 um, and he's in his 90s so he, he was in his 60s when he became president now he's in his 90s um, so that's always not always good especially since in a dictatorship, they have it's not as easy to pick a successor. Um, and uh, there was actually a split within his party. One of the links I'll have in the description below will be a Vox video kind of explaining what happened. Um, and uh, there was a there was a split between within the the uh, Mugabe's governing party. Uh, one wanted to go with uh, the former vice president, uh, who has a little bit of governing experience. He uh, he kind of knew knows what's going on, uh, and for a while he actually was in charge of um, uh, running the government. Because again, Mugabe, super old. Once you get to a certain point, sometimes it's not as easy to make decisions or remember things that are going on. Um, and he had the backing of the military, which actually, as the Vox video will explain, is kind of corrupt. Um, but a lot of people 
we're happy that Mugabe was uh, uh, forced to kind of step down, and he was forced to uh, abdicate uh, or resign, uh, as the official ter- uh, term- terminology was. Um, and this was in response to Mugabe planning to hand the reins over to his wife. And she's not really that much better. Um, not that the new president is better, uh, was uh, was going to be good. He was still corrupt. He still was going to allow the status quo to continue. Um, but she kind of wore her corruption on her sleeve by going on shopping sprees and not really... Uh, with typical, uh, in typical uh, disaffected elite fashion, was kind of ignoring the problems that the regular people are facing. Um, and the military, and, and those in the military were, again, siding with the former vice president, whose name I can't, I don't want to attempt to pronounce because I will completely butcher it. Um, and I don't think they thought with her that they'd be able to use parts of the country as a cash cow because that's because the military like the government itself is fair is very corrupt and is using uh various industries within the country to enrich itself like uh top politicians in zimbabwe are doing uh and which isn't uncommon in uh, unstable african country uh, african countries um which really does stem from i think uh, the colonial aspect of how things were. Not saying that things were perfect before colonialism, but after colonialism, things just got super unstable, especially with all the artificial borders and the various ways that um, colonial powers uh, find ways to govern, either a divide and conquer or just picking an ethnic group at random and having them be uh, like the chosen ones or having basically the entire population being used as a as a as a almost slave labor force um, and really this is just those issues all culminating into massive instability and dictatorship and ultimately coups as we've seen in Zimbabwe uh, this thing kind of turned into a rant against colonialism which it's a little too late uh, but uh, Zimbabwe, it's uh, looking a little stable. Um, the current, the new president has uh, formed an interim cabinet and is putting the old cabinet on house arrest, uh, probably because they w- would be loyal to Mugabe's wife um, instead of the new president, uh, who was the former vice president. Um, odds are it's probably going to be a status quo, but people in Zimbabwe are happy. Uh, a prominent uh, opposition leader thinks this could be the start of a new Zimbabwe. I'm not so optimistic, and neither is the Vox video, um, but we'll see. This is Joshua signing off of Cultural Catholic uh, International Special Episode 1.